my little story and rant for this morning. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. It's been raining since and it looks like it's going to rain again. I pray I get to the gym before it starts raining. I did not come again that day hmm? to drop the cat. Okay, yes, we did not see. Are you occupied? Uh, somebody came to the house to help me look at them. Okay. Is it only these two you have? You don't have dry food. It's not too bad. Yeah. I'll start. How much? Thank you. Thank you. Do you have treats? No. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Jesus Christ. I cannot move. <laughs> home and yeah today has really been a very productive morning the time is what's the time to 11 yeah so i went to the gym from the gym i went to um the mall then i bought like coffee and what else did i get and this thing then which i am yet to try it looks really good and this is it. I got one for myself and one of coffee. I've not had coffee for the past three weeks. Like, so this is my first coffee I'm having in the past three weeks. You know, in one of my vlogs, I was telling you guys that I would want to stay away from coffee and I don't have any coffee creamer or, you know, anything in the house because I finished it and I decided not to buy. But this is my first coffee in, in three weeks, like I said. So... I'm proud of myself and I'm doing great and this is going to be one coffee in one in one month <laughs> because this is going to be the last one for this month still maybe next month then I'll try yeah so that is that okay before I went to the mall I bought a um, food for Nala Moon from this store that you saw me going to I bought these whiskers dry food and two wet food so from ShopRite, I bought this bread 
this red French wanting bread. This one. One. I bought egg. Six in this pack. I bought Shin Chin to snack on. And the last thing here is this. Um, potato King sweet potato classic. This one I've not tried it before, so I bought two to try it. So that is everything I got. And yeah, I'm just going to keep them and sweep. I did my dishes last night, so I'm only sweeping this morning. And I have like a lot of laundry to do. They are there, and I'm waiting for light to come. It's rained, like I said, so you know. Um. Lights now. I want to bring up for lighting with it. So I'm waiting for them to bring lights. Then I will do my dishes and then I do my laundry. Yeah. I'm extremely tired. You can tell from my energy. Exhausted. Exhausted. But look at Nala. If you ask me why he's here, I don't know what to say. I think he's extremely hungry. <laughs> so that is why he's just there. I came back and he has been there since I came. So I need to give him food before. I don't know. This is the best way to feed them. Mix your dry food and your wet food. Ah, they cool. That's it. So the time is 11 20 25 so the, it is the perfect time for me to eat my first meal of the day because i am so hungry today's workout was a bond it was really a bond i'm not really hungry but i'm just excited to eat this cinnamon roll <laughs> bad it's really nice but it just has a lot of sugar will i be buying this again not really but i like that donut but this one the um what is it called i don't know these things they had it on the top it's just so sugary and but it's really nice but i'm trying to stay away from sugary things so i'm not i might not be buying this okay for a while What's that? So before I beat, I need to gossip my driver that brought me home. <laughs> so immediately I enter the car because this is one of my pet peeves. I hate people train. Let me eat, finish eating. This is so rude. Okay. I cannot talk. So this is one of my pet peeves. I really don't like it. I hate people throwing things outside their car especially if you are not throwing it directly into the bush you know there are bushes around everywhere so if you are going out you finish eating you can just throw it inside the bush if there are bushes there you can throw it there but i entered this um boat when i was coming and the driver there was one nylon at the back and i was when i entered i saw it i was like um it was sad did somebody forget their thing in your car or is this yours it was like oh i don't know let me see. So he picked it and looked at it. It was just like a bag of trash. The person he carried, all the people he carried, like the nights before, ate and left the bag of, you know, trash. They are can drink, empty nylon inside. Like there are lots of empty cans and um, empty pack of food inside. And I was like, oh, the people I carried last night before I went home it and just left it there like that and we were going he wanted to throw it out and the road was so clean like there were no bushes there were just like houses fine buildings and everything and he wanted to throw it out and i was like don't worry don't throw it out when you get to my estate and there are bushes around just throw it in the bush in my estate or um the trash beside my estate my um house gate and i was like okay I don't know why I'm even telling you this story, but I don't like it. I hate people drink things when they are driving, like just after eating, they'll just throw the pack outside. It's one of my pet peeves. If you do it, I'd be like, this person will dirty for their house. If you feel you throw things outside, 
your car like that when there's no bush around or you know just directly outside and the thing was so big like if you drum outside then if some of the past person could see him it's not like um um nylon of um, all the sachets of shrimp gum those tiny ones this one is like this big mm. that's one of my pet peeves i hate dirty people because if you do something like that i'm like this person go dirty for your house before they throw things like that i don't know what you think or just let me know what you think do you do it do you throw things outside your your window when you are driving even though the road is so clean and um, there's no single trash on the road like you know some road in the past no trash did the road no single nylon did the road and you will go through it's so annoying i don't know but that is one of my pet peeves right people doing it if like i'm single now and i'm going out with someone or like a date and the person does it that would be like a red flag for me be like this person go dirty whatever because for this person to do this thing but that's where we're. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this story, but I just wanted to put that out there. And I wanted to say something again. I totally forgot. That was not the only thing. Uh -huh. Let me just tell you this thing that I'm into right now. So you know these um, ASMR. ASMR. Okay? Is that what it's, it's called? I really did not like when people be like eating and you know those sound. I really hate it. I'm like, what do you know they do? This sound does not trigger anything. It does not make me sleepy. And last week, the beginning of last week, I was just scrolling on TikTok and I saw somebody um, removing dry scalp from somebody's head and then um, dandruff from this person's head. Like it's like a couple um, new TikTok page. So she was just combing her husband's hair. She, she's black and the other one is white. It was so satisfying that I just went to sleep. Like I just slept. And then I woke up, I was like, wow, now I don't understand why people, they listen to AS ASMR when they won't sleep. Or you know those calming sounds, because I like to sleep in total peace, no music, I don't want to hear anything, nothing at all. But then I was like, I understand why people go to bed with loud music or calming song, all those, um, um, you know those sound, those quiet noise, those sound, like those things like all those water drop now i understand how people go to bed with it because i really liked it i slept if i find it hard to sleep or maybe i want to sleep on time i'll just go on tiktok type it um scalp massaging or scalp scratching i am telling you it is so satisfying to watch last night i watched one before i went to bed <laughs> it was also so satisfying i'll put it on the screen so you know what it means so if you find it hard to sleep sometimes too just look for something that you feel would you know i don't know maybe you can just come across something you like that will make you go to bed but it was so satisfying to watch and listen to so that is my little story and rant for this morning i am going to go and take my bath after beating after beating i'll talk to you guys so today is wednesday and i'm thinking of going to wednesday service today so yeah i need to go and beat now and you know rest for a bit so that i won't be tired when i'm going to trot in the evening so yeah <laughs> don't i look like a short girl <sighs> i just came out from church and i'm about to go and bed and you know get ready for bed because i am going to go to bed very early today yesterday i went to bed around 10 i'm slowly turning into a grandma <laughs> i went to bed around 10 last night so today i'm sure i'm going to go to bed early too yeah i'm gonna get ready for bed take my bath watch maybe watch tv for like some hours like two hours before going to bed so that is that let's see forehead morning guys so it's the next day and yeah i woke up this morning not feeling too great but i went to the gym i spent 20 minutes at the gym i did like um mm, 10 minutes on the treadmill and some other 10 minutes somewhere but yeah I, only, I was only able to spend 20 minutes at the gym so i came back home and i'm home now and i'm feeling really sick so i think i'm going to stick like um maybe two to three days of filming and just relax and really take care of myself later this afternoon after i finish eating i will go and get myself checked and yeah get medication because 
I'm not feeling really good. So that's the start. I'm going to take days off filming. Yeah. So I'm going to end the vlog here because I am so stressed and sick. But I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I hope it was interesting for you. Even though I was really low spirited this in this vlog, but I'm really sorry. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notification to get notified every single time I upload any video. And I'll see you in my next video.